Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and much appreciate you guys making some time out of your busy day to watch it. Definitely never take that for granted. Today I'm going to show you what I consider the top, one of sort of my secret deal about fishing rocky banks and riprap uh, in the early pre-spawn, late winter, early pre-spawn, which we're getting ready to get into right now. I've got one bait that I've caught so many big ones on in these type of areas, so I'm going to go over that and teach you guys a little bit about how to fish it. And real quick, guys, got two quick housekeeping tips. Just want to remind you guys, we got the Randy Blockett uh, Signature Series RB2 Solar Bats up for sale again on the Solar Bat uh, website. I'll include the link in the description. Uh, we sold out in uh, early December, just got another shipment in, so you guys can get them there. And also, if you haven't had a chance, please check out our View Product Shopping tab, the little thing that says View Products at the bottom of the screen. There is no better way to help this channel out than going to there clicking on one of the 30 products I put in there, or clicking on all 30 products, and uh, that takes you to the site. You have to click twice. You have to click the product, then you have to click the site that it's on in order for the channel to get credit, and that's much appreciated. Good way to help out here. Okay, guys, let's talk a little bit about um, fishing rocky banks and riprap in the late winter and early pre-spawn we're getting into. In my opinion, this is the number one way to catch big fish of all year long. I catch more big ones on the lure I'm going to talk about here, the sort of the secret lure setup in that type of water than I do any time. It's like when those water temperatures start to hit 50, those big female bass will move up shallow on riprap and rocky banks, and they're more susceptible to being caught than any other time of the year. So here it is. I'm going to show you guys what my secret rocky bank riprap lure is, and that's a painted spinnerbait painted bladed spinnerbait. Now this is a, a combination white copper, chartreuse copper. Um, actually, um, I, I, this is a good one too, but another, the other good ones that are good, you can have like solid, solid white blades, solid chartreuse blades. You can have a mix, but the key guys is to have the painted blades. At least one side of them needs to be painted. And usually I'm pairing it up with like a uh, white and chartreuse or white skirt with some type of a split tail trailer, fairly large profiled spinnerbait, usually in like a, a you know, three eighths to half ounce size, something like that. Probably half ounce is a little bit better. But the key on this, the key on this technique is slow rolling the spinnerbait, bouncing the bottom. This is what you want to do. You're not going to catch any fish on this technique if you're just reeling it through the water column. What I'll do is I'll get on those riprap and rocky banks um, and I usually get my boat at a 45 degree angle to the bank I'll cast up on the bank uh, slowly start reeling it and then I'll kill it and let it hit the bottom maybe in about three foot of water and then after it hits the bottom I just start slow reeling it just like reeling it slow enough for those blades are just like turning just about like that super slow turning and I'm always wanting to keep contact with the bottom. So I'll reel it for two or three cranks. And as that bait is following the contour down, I'll let it drop down and hit the bottom, reel it two or three more cranks, let it fall down. I never want it to get over about that far off the bottom. And I, I work it down in that sort of like, from like the three to 10 foot zone, depending upon the water clarity. If you've got you know, dirty water, say that water visibility is less than a foot and a half or so, most of those fish you're going to catch are going to be two to four foot deep. And if the water visibility is greater than, you know, two feet or so, they could be down 10, maybe even 15 feet. But guys, I cannot even count how many bass that I've caught over four and five pounds with this technique, primarily in February, and March, um, primarily again, fishing riprap banks and rocky banks. Um, the best riprap that you can fish is like the dam riprap. It seems like to me that early in the year, those fish will get on that damn riprap really good. And also the channel banks work good as far as the rocky banks. So one of the best things you can do <clears throat> is pick out some of the, <coughs> excuse me, pick out, you know, like one or two of the major creeks that you have in the lake, go about one half to two thirds of the way back in the creek and get on the channel banks. You know, in the bank, they can be bluff banks, they can be basketball sized rock, they can be fist sized rock. But get on those channel banks and do the same thing 45 degree angle counting it down in two to ten foot of water and guys i'm telling you what this is just a killer deal with it um, normally i'm fishing it like on say 17 pound test cigar and visex line uh you know just slow cranking it fishing it fishing it right on the bottom and it usually works pretty good 
when that water temperature is like between say 48 to max of 60 degrees it usually starts tapering off once you start to get 60 and those fish start to spawn it's a solid late winter pre-spawn deal so give it a try guys it will add up to some good ones for you i can promise and every lake in the country's got that every lake's got some riprap or rocky bank so um give it a try and you'll uh, you'll catch some big fish on it we'll talk later see you